Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created an app config file and we have read the properties from the property file and we have created two beans. In this video, we are going to create two other classes. So let's get started. The next class that we are going to create is web config. In the configuration package, right click, go to new and click on class. And I'm going to call this web config and click finish. And I'm going to annotate this class with the add configuration because we need to tell spring container that this is a configuration file at configuration. And we need to tell spring container that we are using a web MVC. So I'll use add enable web MVC. And we need to tell spring container that where the controller classes are located. So we need to use add component scan. We have to specify the base packages. Com dot bushel sirigur dot spring dot controller. And this web config extends a special class called web MVC configurer adapter. So let's extend this extends web MVC configurer adapter. If we don't extend this class with a web MVC configurer adapter, then we are not able to achieve the web MVC. We have to tell spring container that we are extending a web MVC configurer adapter. It's a predefined class that the spring people has provided. That's it. That's all about this web config file. Let's save this. Let's create last and final class for our spring and hibernate configuration. Right click on the package, go to new and choose class. I'm going to call this my web app initializer. We have to extend this class with the abstract annotation config dispatcher servlet initializer. Yes, that's a pretty big name, but we have to extend this because the spring people has provided that special class in order to configure spring and hibernate extends abstract annotation configuration dispatcher servlet initializer and we have to override three methods in this class one is a get root config classes second one is get servlet config classes and the get servlet mappings i'm going to implement those methods and i'll remove these comments all right first let's write a code for get root config classes. We have to tell spring container that which is a root configuration classes. In this case, the root configuration classes is app config and the get servlet configuration classes, which is a web config. Let's go ahead and write a code for that. Return new class. It's an array app config dot class return new class it's an array as well inside the curly braces web config dot class return new string within the curly braces within a double quotes slash so this ends our spring and hibernate configuration. The my web app initializer extends abstract annotation config dispatcher servlet initializer. We have to override three methods, get root configuration classes, which is a app config and get servlet configuration classes, which is a web config and get servlet mappings, which is a slash. And the web config will extend the web MVC configurer adapter. We have to tell spring container that we are using a MVC architecture and the app config will read the properties from the property file. That's all about the configuration of spring and hibernate. Don't worry too much about this configuration. If you don't understand, don't worry because nothing to do with this configuration. It's a one time configuration. So once you have done the configuration and for every application, the same configuration applies. So just go ahead and write these configurations and that's it. And you're never going to touch these configuration files again. We are only concentrating on 
controller, DAO, model, and services. That's all about this Spring and Hypernet configuration. In the next video, we are going to create a controller, DAO, model, and service classes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.